Fault analysis is essentially a way of thinking, a how-to in approaching troubleshooting. While I've also described this in the RCT course, the methods are so important, I redo the video here. When troubleshooting any problem, experience counts. It can help you recognize problems and symptoms that can speed your way to a solution. But if you don't recognize a problem right away, it's useful to return to the scientific method. As described in Wikipedia, there are seven basic steps to the scientific method. Step 1. Define the question. Use any error messages that you see. Check your log files for more information. Make sure you have the right service or application. Step 2. Gather information and resources. Check relevant configuration files. Make sure they are in order. Run basic diagnostics. For example, the ping command can help gather information on network connectivity. The test parm command is a useful syntax checker for the SAMBA configuration file. Form a hypothesis from a basic review of the situation from what you know now. Can you make a guess on the cause? Perform experiments and collect data. Based on what you know and your hypothesis, what would you change? But before changing any files, back them up first. If the situation gets worse, you can at least restore those files. When you do your experiments, analyze the data. See what happens after you've made the, those changes to configuration files. If it's a change to a service, make sure to reload the configuration file, or alternatively, restart the service. Then you can analyze related log files and any errors in the output. Step 6. Interpret the data and draw conclusions that serve as a starting point for a new hypothesis. In other words, if the problem isn't already solved, see what else you could do. You did remember to make a backup in case you needed to start over. And most importantly, step 7. Publish your results. Whenever you've solved a problem, it's important to at least document what you've done. You may not be the only administrator on your network, now or in the future. And if you share the results online, in appropriate locations, you may get good karmic credit in the Linux community.